spoke at some of them, this has got to be the best looking crowd. Jesse. speak today because I think it's really important to stand up for democracy in everywhere in the world and especially in Iran as Iranians. I'm a, I'm a proud Canadian and one of the things that I take pride in, I think we should all take pride in, in this country is the right to expression, free assembly, the right of open ideas, a democratic election. Those are the things that are important to us and Working on that democracy in this country is something that we need to continue to do. I'm also a proud Iranian. And standing here, and this that is happening in various places around the world right now, it's happening right this second in New York, it's happening in London, it's happening in various capitals and cities around the world. supporting the same kind of democracy, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, freedom of ideas, and having every vote counted that we support, that we want in this country, and that Iranians deserve in Iran. Now, I know this might not sit too well with some people who really want to agitate and who are really upset, and even my own insurrectionary instincts will forgive me for saying this, but I think it's really important, really smart about this, educated about this, peaceful about this. Because you know, and this is part of being an Iranian in the West, everybody's watching us, right? Everybody's watching us. Everybody will watch for a slip up. Somebody causes some trouble, somebody does something difficult, and it's going to get reported. And that's not what this is about, and it's not what it's about in Iran either, as we know. So peace, let's first of all, peace, freedom of assembly.
side of Iran as well. You know, yeah, that's the... you know that Iranians have been portrayed in all kinds of ways since the revolution in the West. Negative generalization stereotypes. This is the kind of day that we can change that. Iranians call for peace, democracy, free elections, the right to vote. of freedom of assembly of election and making sure that what happens there is fair and just it's not often that we we quote hillary clinton to each other but she wasn't too far off she said let's see what happens and whatever is the fair result should be respected that is what we're here for as well today now the final thing i'll just say is many of us for many years who care deep, deeply about Iran, you know, Iranians tend to be, I mean, one of the great things about this is, as we all know, Iranians tend to be kind of, we can be a little cynical, skeptical people, you know? To get your, 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 talked about the fact that Iran is a young country, that a great percentage of Iranians, I think it was 70% of Iran facilities, are under the age of 30, weren't even alive when the revolution happened. That at some point, those young people will rise up in Iran and say enough is enough of an undemocratic theology, that in fact we want change, we have the right, we see them getting it for Obama and the United States, why can't we do that too? People have been, people have been waiting for this to happen. And Baradat, Khohab, Hidat, Modat, all of us here, it's not going to happen overnight. Nothing miraculous is going to happen tomorrow, as we all know. It might not even happen this week, or this month, this year, or the next five years. But I'll tell you, what happened in the last two days is a tipping point. This is a tipping point. Change tasted a moment of expression and who want to represent their ideas and who just want fair assembly and fair election, there's only so long that they will stand for that meet not, not happening. In the immortal words of Sam Cooke, it's a long time coming, but change is going to come. Thank you.